Yeah, I need to deposit a lot of money, like 150, 130. Uh, just have a seat right over there. I'm trying to sell some fucking shoes. Guys, I think he's gonna be here soon. I, I read the fuck. Oh shit, he's here. <laughs> he's here. Oh, goddamn. What's good? Hey, we got my man Rocky. You got the bag? You know I got the bag. Are you sure you got the bag? Look at the bag, bro. Oh, lord. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. He's good. He's good. Started. He's here to buy. What is it? Three hundred something pairs. Three fifty pairs. Three fifty pairs. I mean, it looks like he brought the cash. As you guys know, I dressed for the occasion. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Stop it. But uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna get to it. And uh, get started with what he's gonna cash me out. But before we do all of that. We're gonna do a giveaway. We are gonna do a giveaway. It's gonna be either the pine green, the cactus four, obsidian. I think a lot of people are gonna want the obsidian. And the shattered backboard 3.0. Rules for the giveaway. Number one, like the video. Number two, follow me on Instagram at RockyH10. And number three, all you gotta do, just pick a shoe and then comment done in your size. But make sure you're following him. Once we get to 10,000 likes, we're gonna pick a giveaway winner. One person for one of the shoes. This is Rocky Chen, guys. He's a Seattle, like, reselling legend. I'm gonna be honest. I looked up to him when I was, like, 15. When I was 15, you were, like, 18 yeah. or 19? Yeah, I used to think he was the man. So talk talk about yourself. I feel like you have a lot to say. Yeah, I mean, I met Isaac when he was, like, 15 years old. I was actually one of the first people to sell him bulk. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, I sold him, I think, maybe, like, 100, 120 pairs of Legend Blues back in the day. That pr I pretty much got him to start, I would say. I mean, I was selling Isaac Bulk like almost weekly. He would do all the cash out, and now I'm here with a bag for him. So yeah, that's kind of how we know each other. A lot of you guys always ask me, how do I buy bulk? How do I sell bulk? When I do my holds, like Cactus Fours, Obsidians, how do I sell them? And usually it either comes down to StockX, consignment, or people like Rocky who cash out. It's also relationships, that's a big thing. I think if we didn't build a relationship, I don't think this would be happening. So. Like I said, let's get right into the video. Yeah, here we have the first shoe, the pine greens. Guys, I have a bunch of small sizes. I don't know if you guys remember. I literally bought 225 pairs in the summer. It was August 12th, my birthday. If you guys remember, I paid, I think it was like 200 or 205. For 225 pairs, I said they were gonna go to 300 because size six and seven was like 350, you know, they didn't go to 300 and it's been, I think like six months or more. So now I don't wanna hold for longer than that. I mean, I wanted 300. I was looking to get around like 270 for all of them, of course. He's a reseller, so he has to make money too. I also have five Ys too. So if you guys go on StockX, I think those are like 280, yeah, 300, 280 to 300. So he's giving me a good deal. I feel like maybe you should hold these for a bit longer because I still think that these might go up to 300 to like maybe a bit more. There's 222 pairs here and that's a lot of volume to be selling for one specific style. I feel like I'm gonna move a lot of them but there's gonna be maybe 20, 25% that I'm gonna hold on to for sure. I'm moving on to the Cactus Fours. Basically, I have 10 less than what I bought initially. I actually sold 10 of them for a thousand each, as you guys remember. Um, that was my hold. They went from 400 to a thousand in like a year. That's 600 profit per pair. He's obviously not paying a thousand. Um, the problem with paying a thousand for him is he doesn't have a margin. There's no margin for him. So since he's buying 44 pairs, if I charge him 900 per pair, he can have his margin. And I did sell, I sold five pairs of Cactus Fours to someone in Hawaii. The guy in Hawaii thinks they're gonna go to 2,000. I personally like think they could, but he bought it for 1,000 and then I sold another five of them. So that was 10,000. This is like I said, 900 for 44 pairs. How much is that? Let me see. They're 39,600 plus the other 10,000. So that's 49,600. I paid 400 for 54 pairs. Yeah, I remember this was one of your, your best margins. 
Because so you, you bought these. This is how much I paid. 21,600. And then you do, I just said 50,000 or 40,000. 49,000. 40, 40, 40, so that's like, what is that? 30,000? Yeah, something like that. How much do you think you'd be making off these? I want to try to get around a thousand, a thousand fifty per pair. So like a hundred, yeah, hundred fifty yeah. profit. Yeah. So yeah, basically you'd be making then about four grand. Four grand. Yeah. Yeah. So he'd be making four thousand dollars. He had the trophy rooms. He had like how many pairs? Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. Two hundred pairs of trophy rooms. I told him to sell at two thousand. Now they're at four thousand. So he sold them. I sold him at three, three, two, three point two k. So, so he made a bunch of money off of that, and you paid how much? Uh, I can't tell you that. Hey, yo, what? Did the drink focus come in yet? Everything stop secret. Everything. I can't even tell you where I got him from, but I mean, yeah, I mean, we 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 all kind of know where we got him from. We all kind of know. But like, what are you gonna do? Tell his dad, you know? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Um, what do you think about the Obsidian Hype? Like, bro, this is actually one of my favorite Jordan ones. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, this colorway is actually so clean to me, bro. I think these will continue to go up over any of these. Great. Really? I thought the same thing too. I honestly think those are probably gonna go up to like 700. Probably I seven, think seven, 700. Because these these were sitting at about 260, and now these are flying at like five, five fifty. That's how much I paid average for pair. Grade school guys. If you guys saw my first video, I was paying 180 for grade school. Yeah. First size said crazy. Now those are 600. So I, I think a lot of the hype with this shoe though comes from TikTok because all the TikTokers, this is the shoe that they wear. Every one of them has a pair of these. You're taking 80 pairs. Yep, 80 pairs. I think I had like 100 something pairs, and all those other pairs I sold for 500 to 550. So my profit was like over 250 per pair. But I think off the obsidian ones as a whole, since he's taking all these for 500 each, I think that's a decently good like price. Obviously, yeah. if you're gonna hold them, yeah. if he thinks they're gonna go to 700, then that's like 200 per pair. But looking at like the 7Y and 6Y, those are like 650 to 700 on StockX. So I told you guys I wanted 500 on the video. So that's, I guess, what I wanna get. And I really think these are gonna hit 450. Yeah, I think overall Obsidian one profit is roughly 30,000. So we do 30 plus this was like 30. Yeah. Plus this. 60 times 222, 13,320 plus 60, 73,000. All right guys, so we're at $73,000. I don't know what you're gonna hold and what you're gonna sell, mm -hmm. but how much do you think you'd be making? So yeah, let's start over here. So the Pine Greens, I'm probably gonna sell most of them for around 280 to 290. Like I said, like 80% of it, and I'll probably hold like 20, 25%. Um, so that's that. For the Cactus, I'm trying to make around 100, 150 per pair in volume. Um, try to sell them in bulk, um, get them out. Those, I'm probably not gonna hold um, because I feel like these kind of plateau, or they might they might hit 1500, I'm not sure. The Obsidian's is the one that I'm, I'm probably gonna hold because I think these will go up a lot more than what they are right now. The pairs are already disappearing from um, marketplaces um, and these are always hot. Um, You're kind of making me want to hold them longer. <laughs> you guys always know I say, once a shoe hits its price, you sell them and let the other person make their money. Like, that's it. Last but not least, the shattered backwards. I think these will also go up just... Um, it's a red color. Right? Yeah, but also based on the trend of how the 1.0 and the 2.0 did, and those are at maybe 500 for the 2.56, and then um, I think the 1.0 is actually at like a grand plus. So yeah. eventually these will get there, so. Yeah, so for the shattered backwards, I think there's almost 50 pairs of men's and grade school together. You guys remember this investment. I posted this a year ago. I literally told everybody buy grade school at like 160. And what do they go for now? Like 450, 500? Yeah, 450. Four, I think like four, in six and a half, I think they're like almost 500. So um, I don't know if Isaac has told you this before, but if you're new to reselling, the Jordan ones is probably the shoe that you should buy a lot of. Men's, grade school, whatever it is, it will go up, especially if it's a high. Some lows do well, but... Um, what about these? Those? How much How much market are those? Hey! Sheesh! Sheesh! Shit, I mean... I mean, you wore them, so that... I know I wore them, but like, so after you wear them, they, go, they might go up in value. 
After you wear them, they might, so... Yeah. But maybe I could trade for those. For these? Shattered backboards, uh, I'm kind of taxing him on, not the men's, but the grade school, because I know they're gonna skyrocket. The grade school, I'm charging him 380, and for the grade school, there's 34 pairs. That's like 12,900 mm -hmm. for grade school. 380 minus 170, that's 210 times 34 pairs. So I'm basically making 7,140. I only got 12 men's pairs. We agreed on 400. So, I think there's a full size run in these actually. But yeah, these are stupid clean too. Yeah, so we do 400 times 12, that's 4,800. That's a great school, I think, but yeah. 4,800, what do you think the men's are gonna go to? These will probably hit six, seven um, soon. I wanna say in maybe a year or like a few months, um, they'll probably hit six, seven. But these and the obsidians, I'm gonna hold um, a majority of them. Um, Cause right now the margins are okay, but they're not where I want them to be. <laughs> Bro, you really wanna put that shirt hey, on? Hey, hey, hey. So yeah, like you said, he's gonna be making money. He brought cash. I don't know if you wanna show him a bag. This actually was a pain to get a hold of. Cause I don't know if you guys know this, but banks don't keep that much cash on them. So anything over 10 grand, you have to put in a call with your banker, if you have a banker, uh, and then he'll get that ready for you. Lordy. <laughs> Lordy. Y'all should see the cameraman's face. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Sheesh. Guys, I even bought a money counter. You could count all of it. For all the people who hate and say reselling is not a career, Bro, keep, like keep hating and don't resell because we're just gonna be banking. Bro, I'm telling you, I have been in this industry for 10 years, okay? 10 years. It is the most lucrative fucking business that I've ever come across. And anybody can do it. He has a book that teaches you literally how to make money reselling. And, and even, if you, if, even, even if you don't wanna um, put in the time and the work to do it, just look at these Jordan 1s right here, right? Any Jordan 1 high that comes out, you can get a better return in a year than any investment that you, that you look, or that you, um... That you, um, you had, you, you, you could... I know a lot of, like, older people watch my videos too, and they're like, reselling is, uh, for chumps, um, you know, you're not gonna make any money off of it, blah, 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 this and that. Don't listen to that. Even if you're young, like, you started, how young were you? You're like 13. I was 13 years old, man. Let me tell you, when I was 13, I was taking the bus for an hour, two hours at a time to make 20 bucks. And I did that shit for a fucking year, two years. Just meeting people, networking, reinvesting everything. Point I'm is, like, work hard. Don't give up. You can end up like Rocky. You can make a lot of money. Like, I, I know for a fact that he, he's not lying about that either. I think all of this in total is probably gonna end up like, 85,000 profit. Something like that. And you're giving me about 150,000. Yep. 150. He's giving me about 150,000. So that's almost a 50% return. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I'm telling you right now, if you buy any Jordan 1 men's and grade school, the highs, and you hold them for a year, you'll get a better return than any mutual fund, any savings account, any anything that you'll, you'll get. And it's the least riskiest play that you have. And I'm speaking that from my heart. Hey, um, yeah, I need to deposit a lot of money. Because I'm just like 150. Yeah. Uh, just have a seat right over there. Okay, and I'll be, I'll be back. My guy. As you can see, we brought the duffel. <laughs> I walked in, thank God I saw somebody who uh, I know. He helps me out a lot and uh, he opened up a lot of my accounts. Why the fuck is Kevin Hart right there? Yeah, he, I didn't know he was sponsored by Chase. Anyways, hopefully this can be like a smooth process. We should be good to go. The deal is done. We're gonna put the shoes in Rocky's U-Haul and uh, I guess we're just gonna call it a day after that and then maybe get some dinner of uh, a deal.